It is time for some fun Friday stories with our Richard Southern. And we begin with an interesting survey that pits a man's best friend versus his smartphone. So let me ask you this. You have a cute little kitty at home. We've actually shown your cat on City News before. That's how cute he is. He's the best. What's, what's his name again? <laughs> his name is James. He's a gray little cat. Has his own little attitude as well. Definitely one of my so, best friends. So question though, would you give James up for just one month if it meant being able to keep your smartphone, Melissa? One month. <laughs> That's a good question. I know it. I know it. <laughs> because as much as I love my cat, I am married to my smartphone. I have two. Yeah. And it's like one in one hand, one in the other, and I'm consistently <laughs> checking. God knows what I'm checking, but I'm always on it. <laughs> it's an obsession. I thought, you'd say, I thought you'd say, no, absolutely, James, but you're completely like, oh, no, 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 I need the phone. You're not alone. A new survey finds 40% of people asked would give up their dog for a month if it meant being able to keep their cell phone, okay? So this is like people, they said not dog's a man's best friend or a woman's best friend. No, it's the phone now. <laughs> uh, get this though, dogs actually had a slight advantage over someone's romantic partner. 44% of people said they'd go without seeing their romantic partner for a month if it meant being able to keep their cell phone. Oh, 70 no. I, yeah, 72% <laughs> said they'd be willing to be separated from alcohol for a month. If it meant keeping the phone, 64% would be willing to give up coffee. That's how hooked we are. We're ready to step over our loved ones and our puppies <laughs> and our kitties. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, if it, I, I'm trying to think, me and my partner, hmm. Phone or partner? I don't know, it's a tough one. I gotta say it's also a tough one. One month is a long you, time. I hope you didn't leave the TV on for James because the cat's <laughs> gonna be like sitting at home watching City News being like, really, I thought you loved me. Yeah, you know? like, how dare you? Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, and uh, this baseball season is like no other, and we've got more proof of that tonight, Richard. Yeah, just last weekend, a guy broke into the the Fenway Park in Boston when during a game, and now this. This is in Milwaukee at the <laughs> the field where the Brewers play. This guy walks right in. He goes on the field. He steals a tractor, Melissa. And what does he do with the tractor? He carves his name into the field. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> he, he when also, given the opportunity. After, I guess, you know, it's a once in a lifetime shot, right? And he actually ran the bases afterwards and then and then took off. They did arrest this guy, a 40 year old, charged him uh, with forty thousand dollars in damages. But, you know, uh, he he contended. He's actually said the door was open. So I'm just he thought it, so I thought it was a sign that he had to go in. And, you know. We kind of go in and have a look around, too. I don't know if we destroy the field, though, right? No, probably not my thing, but hey, some people, I guess, when given an opportunity, why not go for it? When in Rome, yeah. And now most people consider them pests, but a rat has actually been given a gold medal. Can you explain this one, Richard? I'm going to show him to you. This is uh, out of Cambodia. And th look at this little guy, Aww. Magawa. His, yeah, look, Magawa, his name is. He's, um, uh, he's a rat, and he's a smart one. He's been awarded a gold medal by a British... Uh, charity because he has been trained to detect landmines, of which there are unfortunately a lot in Cambodia. They say this little guy, Melissa, in seven years has discovered 39 landmines. He's cleared 141 square meters of land and perhaps has saved countless lives. So before we go ragging on the rats, you know, we're, they're, they're more than ever in Toronto, apparently. But before we rag on them, let's remember they're pretty smart creatures and they, some of them are lifesavers, Melissa. Most definitely. Well, thank you so much, Richard. We'll see you next week. Have a good one.